Hi, my name is Daniel Laveman, and today I'm going to be talking about web-based augmented reality. If you don't know, augmented reality is a way of taking the real world and adding some things onto it to enhance it. So let's start by going over augmented reality as opposed to virtual reality, because there are a few differences, pretty major ones. Augmented reality, as I said, layers computer-generated imagery onto the real world. Uh, it, so it enhances your reality. Uh, it uses what you have in order to, to map, put it into a 3D structure, and then adds computer-generated imagery on top of that to make your world look a little bit cooler. Uh, it can be done through specialized glasses, like Google Glass tried to do, uh, or, or by using your built-in camera on either your phone or your laptop to make it happen. Virtual reality, on the other hand, is complete immersion into the computer-generated world with no I input from the real world at all. It creates its own re reality as opposed to enhancing yours. And it has to be d delivered through a head mount or some other form. And it usually has headphones, so you're completely blocked out from the, the regular world. So there are a few approaches to augmented reality. The first one, as I said, is hardware, like Google Glass. Uh, a lot of major companies are working on hardware as of now, because Google Glass didn't quite cut it. Uh, another one is installed native apps on your phone, in particular. Like, I'm sure many people played Pokemon Go. That's an app where you have to download a lot of the stuff, and it's great, except you have to deal with taking up space on your device. The trade-off, th though, is you don't have to constantly interface with the web uh, sometimes. And the one that I'm going to be talking about t today is web apps. So you don't ne need to deal with storing like a normal app. And it's a, a lot easier to, to build and cheaper. So there are a few ways to, to do it. Argon, that's the AR toolkit, and AWE. Those are all. Uh, a little bit older ones, but they lead up to how it works now. This is how it works. You have to construct your model with the first thing is geometric registration. What that means is you're aligning the position of the virtual environment onto your actual environment. So you're basically saying, we have your re real stuff here. We want to figure out how to get it to match up perfectly space-wise on top of it. Another thing is photometric registration. That means that you're matching the appearance of the object in the virtual environment to match the actual environment. So if uh, the actual environment is taken in as a 3D m model, and then you end up putting it out as just a flat thing, it's not going to look right when you turn and see it from the other side. You have to get it to match appearance-wise with your outside environment. And the way that both of those are done is by building on top of a marker. What is a marker? There are a few different ways. Uh, a QR, which I'm sure you all know, that is used as a marker by taking those three different squares that you can see since it knows exactly the position of the, those, it can then s say, I know that w where the, those rectangles are. I've located them. And check if they're inside th your frame that you're showing. If they are, you can use that position and orient what you have on top of it. You can also use an image where you know the position of everything I inside. You select certain points in, in that. And by tracking those, you can place uh, your, your augmented stuff on top of that image by v going across those points and saying, at this point, 
I have this, a po this point I have that. And the third w way is with a color sequence, usually with const contrasted colors, as you can see like that. There's cyan, magenta, yellow. They're contrasting, so you can tell the difference when they're uh, next to each other. Uh, but the issue with this is a lot of times it's very dependent on the lighting, because if the lighting isn't perfect, you may not be able to see the colors perfectly, and it may not be able to track exactly right. There are a few helpful libraries. AR Toolkit slash JR, JSAR Toolkit. Believe it or not, the AR Toolkit has been around for 17 years. It was created that long ago and is now in its sixth iteration. And what that does is it provides you the tools for the geometric and, and the photometric in order to make it look good. Before that, there was really no good set of tools to make that happen. You can also use 3.js, which is a 3D library. And that'll help you create the 3D model of your world and place it in there to actually make it come out looking good. And all of those have now combined into AR.js. That's the JavaScript library, at least this year. It takes all of the, those th things, kind of combines them into one utility so that in, if you want to go at the simplest one, you can create an augmented reality app in 10 lines of code. So let's build th those 10 lines of code in AR.js. Let's start at the, the top. So you start, you make an A-frame, which is another set of th 3D tools. It's a, a, a library to place it on, on, on the space. And as you can see, you're connecting o over to 3 with the AR toolkit to use that 3D m model along with the, those recognition tools to place it on there. After that, as you would anything else, you create your body, set all the, the different specs that you need on it and inside your body. You set your scene. As you can see on here, you're, you're setting the source type as the webcam, which would be the built-in webcam on your computer. And inside that, you're going to place all the 3D content. You make a box, set a, a few specs on it. It's fairly similar to, to uh, anything else you would do. And then the cool stuff happens down here, where you have your camera. That's telling you uh, how you're going to be using your camera. It's setting the preset as hero, which you will see in a little bit what that means. And it's telling the camera, look for that preset and place what you want on top of that. And in 10 lines, that's a basic uh, augmented reality app in JavaScript. Let's try it out. This will be a very, very s simple demonstration. It should be working. Yep. So. It finds it, and as you move around, it can track where that hero goes. And it, as long as it can see all of it, it should be able to track it fairly well. So it maps to the, that hero, because it knows that's what it's looking for. It knows exactly the position of everything within that square. So it could then take it and put that 3D model on top on those exact points, as you can see, the edges of the box are aligned directly t to the edges of that black box of the hero. And it uses the, the inner box to mark the, the dimensions along the spinning, I don't know what to call it, but that spinning thing. <laughs> uh, so that's a very s simple way to use uh, JavaScript to build your web app in augmented reality. Thank you.